Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the talk on Synthehicle, multi-vehicle, multi-camera tracking in virtual cities. I'm Fabian Herzog from the Chair of Human-Machine Communication of the Technical University of Munich. And in this work, I'm going to present Synthehicle, our new synthetic data set specifically designed to address smart city applications. The smart city setup we consider consists of several cameras placed at approximately traffic light height in either overlapping or non-overlapping field of views. The number of cameras can vary from few to many, and our goal is to find the exact localization and to track all the vehicles that we see in the video, and maybe also the pedestrians and bicycles and other objects to create a scene understanding for smart city applications, such as intelligent traffic management, accident prevention, or video surveillance. On the slide, you can see three cameras from the CityFlow dataset, which is one of the only datasets for smart city applications and specifically designed for multi-camera, multi-vehicle tracking. There are certain problems with real datasets. First of all, we have a lack of datasets and a lack of variety because there are only very few scenes available and not enough cameras to really incorporate a lot of geometric information. Then we also have the problem of lack of ground truth. The only thing we can really access are the annotated 2D bounding boxes and they are not perfect. We don't have access to 3D bounding boxes or segmentations. And also for many smart city applications, such as accident prevention, there are many edge cases which might not be covered by the real data sets. The two main problems with real data are labeling costs on the one hand. So once I have obtained all the camera footage, I have to label it and bounding boxes alone are quite expensive to label. This is an image here from Amazon Mechanical Turk and the prices. And you see, if you want to go to a more interesting tasks such as semantic segmentation, it gets expensive very, very fast. On the other hand, there are privacy issues. Here you see an image of the Duke MTMC dataset, which is quite well known in our community but has been taken offline a few years ago because of privacy issues. Both of these problems can be addressed with synthetic data. And although there are of course also disadvantages of synthetic data, the advantages of synthetic data are very clear. So we do not need to consider privacy because synthetic entities do not have any privacy. We can include a lot of uncommon cases and edge cases that we might not see on real data. And we can also have very fast and accurate labeling because there's no manual labeling required. And the labeling is free and done by the synthetic engine that we use. Additionally, we have access to labels which are maybe not available for real data or very, very hard to obtain for real data, such as 3D bounding boxes or semantic segmentations, panoptic segmentations and so on for multiple cameras. This is really hard to label, especially if you have more than one camera. And this can be easily done with synthetic data. So our goal is to create a synthetic data set at city scale for smart city problems that includes 3D object detection and segmentation as well as 2D, and also single camera and multi-camera multi-target tracking ground truth. Our work was motivated by successful synthetic datasets that have been presented in the past, like the JTA dataset or the ModSense dataset, which both address single camera person tracking or joint tracking. Here you can see example footage from one of the cameras of one of the scenes in Synthehicle, which totally consists of over 64 scenes. And for the RGB data, we have sampled from eight distinct maps under four different ambience configurations with 1080p, 10 FPS, and for all the cameras, we provide camera calibrations. There are overlapping and non-overlapping camera scenes in our dataset. Additionally, we provide 2D and 3D detection ground truth. The 3D ground truth boxes are oriented boxes, and we provide them in pixel, cam, and world coordinates. We also provide the 2D boxes, and for all types of boxes, we provide a consistent tracking ID that is consistent through time and frames and cameras, and we provide our data in mod format and cocoa format. Furthermore, we also provide semantic segmentations for each of the frames in the dataset. These semantic segmentations have been generated directly from Kala and are pixel-wise perfect. We also provide 
instance and panoptic segmentations generated in a similar way also for each single frame in our dataset. Finally, we also provide the depth maps by placing depth sensors where light pixel are farther away and dark pixel are more in front of each of the frames. This is very useful for RGBD tracking. On this table, you can see an overview and a comparison of our dataset with others. In the top rows, you see real datasets. In the middle, you see synthetic datasets. And below, you see a direct comparison to CityFlow, the other smart city dataset that exists. Compared to CityFlow, we have more than seven times as many camps, more than 14 times as many annotated boxes, more than 10 times the scenes, approximately three times the density, and more than four times the duration. Totally, our dataset is 17 hours long. And unlike other datasets that exist, we provide not only 2D boxes and the RGB footage, but also the 3D boxes, the depth, panoptic, semantic, and instance segmentations. On this slide, you can see all of our scenes, 64 in total, which we've distributed into training scenes and testing scenes. The camera numbers vary from four to eight, and we have recorded eight different maps with two different configurations each, one with an overlapping camera setup, the other with a non-overlapping camera setups. And each of those setups we have recorded under four different ambience configurations, dawn, day, night, and rain. Here you can see the ambience configurations on an example, the day, dawn, rain, and night scenes with decreasing visibility. And that really provides a challenge for re-identification methods and for detection methods. As already mentioned before, we have used the Kala software to record this dataset. Kala is an open source simulator mainly designed for autonomous driving research developed by Intel Labs, Toyota Research Institute and the Computer Vision Center of Barcelona. Kala provides eight different maps and we have used all of those maps in our dataset. There are complex city scenarios as well as simple village and highway scenarios. To obtain the 3D bounding box information, we have to first project the vehicle from its engine coordinate system to the world coordinate reference, and then from there to the camera coordinate reference using the extrinsic matrix of the camera. The 3D bounding boxes can then be converted to 2D bounding boxes by finding the smallest rectangle that contains all the vertices of the 3D box. To investigate synth vehicle, we have conducted the following experiments. 2D vehicle detection, vehicle re-identification, and 2D single and multi-camera vehicle tracking. For vehicle detection, we have used the Ulox X detector with pre-trained cocoa weights. We also computed different train and test splits depending on the ambience and a combined train and test set that is sampled from all the scenes. We see that when we train on the combined training sets, the test performance is better both for the combined test split, but also for each individual ambient split, day, dawn, rain and night. Similarly, we've created test and train splits depending on the ambience for vehicle re-identification and we see similar results. Using the fast ID framework, we have trained a ResNet 50 on vehicle re-identification on synth vehicle. And again, we see that if we train on the combined train set, we outperform the specific trainings on the ambience train sets um, when we evaluate on the test sets. For the tracking results, we have used our entire test set and performed single camera tracking with DeepSort. For DeepSort, we have used the 2D detections by Yolox that we've trained earlier, and we have used the fast ReID network that we've trained earlier. And the multi-camera tracking results were obtained using those single camera tracklets in a methodology called electricity, which has been proposed for the CityFlow dataset. In total, on our entire test set, we can report an average of 59% multi-object tracking accuracy for single camera tracking, and 41.5% IDF1 score for multi-camera tracking, providing a solid baseline for experiments on synth vehicle. The entire dataset and the code, including all the models and configurations, are publicly available. Thank you very much for your attention.